we have to remember that Vodak wrote these pieces when he was in America and I think he started to feel very homesick. Also at the same time he discovered uh, music of black and Indian Americans and he used to also see their masses in churches and I think he was very touched and inspired by this poor American music. <laughs> For me, fascinating that at the time when everybody was writing kind of much more complicated pieces, he suddenly turned into something extremely simple and plain, also for his standards. Also, what is interesting that at this time his big friends Tchaikovsky and von Bülow died, so again it adds to his sadness or also his strong need to believe in faith. <laughs> In these songs he was, again, like I think I can really compare it to biblical songs with Vora coming to something extremely uh, intimate when we look, for example, at the Ich Atmet in Lindenduft, basically accompanied by two instruments, uh, extremely sober, simple. Liebst du um Schönheit, it has a very sweet little story. And of course, Ich bin der Welt abhanden gekommen, which for me it's probably the most beautiful song written for voice and orchestra, where he expresses a withdrawal a bit from the world and coming. I think he wrote, this is kind of my own confession or something. He, he felt extremely, as you say in German, innig. Uh, I don't know how I would say it in English. It's a very, very internal feeling. It could be taken as a farewell to the world uh, and a lot of people think about this, it's like saying goodbye to the world. But um, for me there is much more hope in it and uh, it is maybe more about this inner life in yourself than about uh, life after death or something like that. I think French music in general has this unbelievable power of describing the moments you, we have it in paintings. It's very visual. For me, Scheherazade is one of the most erotic music there was ever written. And as we know, Ravel I don't know, we of course don't know, but what the books writes about him, that he was basically virgin and he never had any relationship. And especially the last song, I think it's all about his desire and kind of not 
actually wanting to go there. The first song always, Je voudrais voir, I would like to see, and I would like to do this, and I would like to do that. And it's all about, oh, I dream about it, I would like to do that, but I don't. pieces were written within 10 years. It's quite astonishing to hear Dvorak next to Ravel and next to Mala just to see what was happening within such a short period. Another big link is this intimacy and these personal messages of every of these composers in a different way and certain type of longing for something, as I said, in Ravel, maybe longing for having love of his life, having a relationship, not to be afraid to go further with these things. Dvořák's longing for coming back to his country and Mahler's longing for love with Alma, for his own way, finding his own peace and place. (laughs) 